All right, guys. All right, let's get on to uh, the, let's start the show off with headlines. Let's start it off. They what's the uh, the first thing uh, topic of the week of the new year? Of the new year. Mm. Stephen Yoon. Yoon. Yeah. Yoon is sorry that he dropped out of Marvel's Thunderbolts and cites the strike and scheduling issues. I want to do a Marvel movie. Uh, Steven spoke to Variety's Mark Malkin about his Thunderbolts exit, citing last year's SAG after strike as one reason behind his decision to drop out of the upcoming anti-hero film. I think for me, time <laughs> passing and things sh shifting kind of pulled me out of it. But Jake, I know, is going to do an incredible job, and I want to do a Marvel movie, he added. <clears throat> Thunderbolts paused production in May due to the WGA strike and has yet to begin filming following the end of the dual Hollywood strikes. When asked what Marvel movie he would like to work on in the future, Yoon replied, I think it's too early to say that. I probably pissed off too many people leaving, so I'm just going to say thank you for having me. I have some ideas, but I heard if you put it out there, you'll never get it, so I'm going to keep it close to my chest. We all we all know uh, this actor from The Walking Dead. That's when I was first introduced to him. Uh, one of my favorite characters yeah, uh, on too. the Walking on the Walking Dead. So I was Get excited. Wrong. I don't know much about the character that, he, that he's playing uh, on, in Marvel, in, but I was I am looking forward to the Thunderbolts. So I was looking forward to him playing that character. But when that whole thing happened a couple of weeks ago, about a, uh, when he did a, he did an interview and. Uh, with he did a a interview with uh, no the because he has another show called uh, what's that show, that cartoon on Amazon Invincible? Invincible yeah he's the voice actor of that character Invincible on Amazon I don't okay. know if you've seen Invincible mm -hmm. it's great it's a great show okay uh, <laughs> the creator of Invincible was doing an interview and blurted out that he was in Marvel this that his lead actor voice actor in his show is also about to be this character in marvel before marvel was ready to come out with it so it was like now this, did he get into a little trouble is that why he has to back out is because not marvel i mean i know they don't like leaks but it didn't seem like he was in tr any kind of trouble but for him backing out and now he's saying that you know he's you know it's it's for whatever reasons i, I don't know i don't know i i just i'm, I'm a little disappointed i'm i'm hoping that um that Marvel won't blacklist them. That's just me. I mean, well, let's get into the geeky side. That of it. there's, you know, a lot of these actors have multiple projects, yeah. and they are spaced out to accommodate doing multiple things at once. But when this strike halted everything, and then it restarted, everybody's now scrambling to start mm -hmm. filming all at the same time, which right, probably right. would lead to like, look, I got three or four projects, yep. and they all want to go at the same time. So I can't do them all. So you're yeah. buying it. You're buying this excuse. So it's you buy it. the highest it, bidder wins. Yeah, <laughs> it is a logical, a logical assessment of the situation, especially like you mentioned. Yeah. You know, we had the strike. No one was doing anything. Everything comes back up, and everybody's scrambling to get their stuff back started. Yeah. Well, what about these people that had things mapped out and planned out? That like that obviously is going to affect things. So you would, I would hope that the people running these productions and understanding that you can't all just demand everything you're going to get re you're going to get refused i mean you're, i'm people are going to have to pick and choose i'm sure it wasn't solely the schedule I'm, i mean if you've got things pick you know start back with filming and you got multiple <coughs> places that are all now like we got to start now right okay pick one you're being pulled you, at, you were supposed to do all of these projects yeah I'm sure he had to weigh them and go, okay, look, um, this movie has this producer, this movie has this producer, this person has this history and has done these things and probably will do well or may not do well. This one's paying this. I have a lot of things to weigh. Yeah. Marvel hasn't done super great lately. So, I mean, that might have been a factor as well where he was like... When and when asked if if he would uh, do a a Marvel movie in the future, he was like, I, I I hope so. I hope maybe backing out of this won't, you know, upset people. I can understand if it does upset them, and but I'm I'm looking forward to hopefully one. Day. And I I feel like I, you know he, he he did it. He he explained it in a professional way. It's not like he's uh, dissing Marvel or saying anything embarrassing or anything like that. He's you know so he's he's totally professional. So I'm I'm hope I'm hopeful that he'll. Uh, 
be in Marvel in, in the future. But I mean, that's just another uh, thing that just happened in the headlines. Uh, let us know what you guys think about that, and let's move on to uh, another. It's on the computer. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Tabs. Appreciate it. That, that you know. That's me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, like, and comment your thoughts on this topic or any topics that you think that we should talk about in upcoming videos. Also, you can follow us at T3 Medias on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and we also have a T3 Media Studios podcast where we post our movie